Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today I'm out in the garden, or more specifically, out in the garden shed, because uh, shed is our theme for this year, which stands for Seeking a Harvest Evangelistically Deliberate. In other words, that uh, if we want to see a harvest, if we want to see people coming to know Jesus in greater number, then we need to be more evangelistically deliberate, more intentional in our faith sharing. And as a way of thinking about that, earlier in the year, um, in a morning service, we planted sunflower seeds in little cups and uh, with compost and watered them. And this is my sunflower, which I am very proud to present to you now. It's uh, in full bloom, looking rather glorious uh, and about as tall as I am. And uh, I'm kind of quite chuffed with myself for doing that. Although, of course, the whole point of this is that I didn't do that. What I did was I planted a seed. What I did was water it regularly. What I did was uh, repot it when it needed it. Uh, and this is the end result. God brings the growth. And Paul, writing in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 6, says, I planted the seed. Apollos watered it, but God gave the growth. Uh, and he's talking about the Corinthian Christians there. And, and so we have a, a, a role of planting seeds and watering seeds, tending them, weeding them, but we don't bring the growth. It's the miracle of God's power that brings the growth in people's lives. And, and when, when we see that miracle, we know it's, it's the equivalent of going from a tiny seed to something like this. The one thing about sunflowers, of course, is they kind of grow up nice and tall. They go up and up and up and up. And their final um, kind of manifestation is this sort of glorious um, uh, flower that looks like a sun, which is why they're called sunflowers. They have this sort of mane of wonderful yellow fiery petals. And uh, I think that's a great metaphor for what we're hoping will happen in the lives of those people we're sharing our faith with and discipling intentionally, is that we want them to go up and up and up and up towards God. And in the end of the day, um, kind of uh, look like him, resemble him in the characteristics to become more and more Christ-like. Uh, and uh, this sunflower is about as tall as I am to grow into the full stature of Christ. That's what that's what we want. And that's not something we can engineer or doctor. That, that's a miracle that God does. But our role is to plant the seed and to faithfully and regularly water it with encouragement and prayer and the removing of obstacles and weeds so that a soul can flourish and become all that God has created it to be, to grow into the full stature of Christ. So a great um, opportunity this morning for me to show off, um, but more importantly, a great opportunity to be reminded of um, the power of God's miraculous growth and uh, so encouraged to go back more diligently and intentionally to our planting of seeds and our watering and tender tending um, to the lives of those we're seeking to share our faiths with. So be encouraged this week.